Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Evolution, the world of Sacred Device. I'm Nye, and we are on basement floor one of the Blind Ruins. This is our first ruin that we're investigating, and uh, we're descending. So when you actually get to the bottom of a staircase here, you can choose to go to next floor or pause save the game. So you actually can save, but you can't actually leave, which is kind of important. So we want to just go to the next floor. This indicates that we're done with this one. Now keep in mind, you can't go back up. It's not allowed. You can't return. So you do not want to, you know, exit a floor unless you're sure you were ready to exit. Unfortunately, I did not get the drop on this enemy. I was kind of hoping I would. So let's go ahead and continue fighting our way through. Keep in mind that Mag himself is, uh... Mag is more of an attacker type. He kind of... All he really cares about is how much damage he can do to a given enemy. He doesn't really care about much else. Uh, Linear is the support type. Think White Mage a little bit. And uh, Gray is kind of a cross between the two. He has a really powerful attacking power, but he's also a support. He's very definitely a support, in fact. So you'll want to keep that in mind. And you can kind of see that in that fight. Mag, and Mag just kind of does a lot more damage than the other two. Let's see, we've got another enemy over here somewhere. Where are you? Big Ben. Okay. Should get the drop on this guy. There we go. Music changes, so you can hear the different change, and it says, We have the initiative. So watch what happens. Gray gets to go. Linear gets to go. Notice how Gray is still ahead of this monster. Mag gets to go. You'll notice how Mag came out still ahead of the monster. If you get the initiative, you get a lot of really good stuff. And one of the main benefits is not getting attacked as often. We want to get the initiative as much as possible because it will help out a lot. Uh, it actually saves us a lot of damage. We get to use less healing items, which is very important. Uh, but more importantly than that, uh, having the initiative also means that, uh... Oh, well, actually, that's mostly it. It's mostly not taking as much damage. Also makes things go a lot faster. Uh, let's see. We have a monster over here, which is the tribal type. I forget the name of this type. We see these guys a lot. And if I remember correctly, they use a lot of, uh, status effects. Okay, so that guy did something very interesting. That was a basic attack of his. But you'll notice, notice where Mag is right now. Well, you can't really, but yeah, see, notice how Mag got pushed back. So the enemy actually pushed him back to the middle rank. So the game pays a lot of attention. I don't, but the game pays a lot of attention to exactly where you are in the ranks. If you're forwards, backwards, middle, and there are a lot of skills that actually, uh, you know, think about where are you and how about, it, how about changing where you are or changing where the enemy is to kind of, you know, make them do less damage, make them take more damage, make you take less damage, make you do more damage, so on and so forth. Very important stuff, that. So we'll be paying some attention to it. But keep in mind, the uh, formation that I said at the end of the last episode, that's the formation that Mag and company will tend to keep for the majority of the game. Uh, you know, whenever we start a battle, it will always be Mag and Gray in front and Linear in the back. Now, things may change in the middle of battle, depending. Uh, I don't typically do it myself, but things may change in the middle of battle. But you just pick up a Purifying Potion... And an old sandal, which I believe is... I, f I forget who that is for. I think sandals are for linear. No? Nope. Maybe that's just an item. Uh, it's an appraisal item. Okay, so we can actually bring this item to uh, the society later on, and we can look into it and see, you know, what it can be appraised into later on in the line. Now, this thing right here allows me to exit the ruins if I would like to. Now, the problem with exiting the ruins, and the reason why I'm not going to, for obvious reasons, if you exit the ruins, you have to, you start at the nearest, uh, I believe it's the nearest multiple of five, floor-wise. So, I could leave now, but I'd have to come back at floor one. Whereas, if I keep going, if I get to floor five and leave at that point, then I can go back at floor five. Kind of depends on how you're doing. If you're having a really bad time, if you're, you know, if you're running out of healing items, and how did this guy skip ahead of Mag? That dick. Knock over, pushes us back, so notice that we are now in the middle rank. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're doing really well, and, uh, you want to keep going, you can keep going. If you're doing particularly badly, and you need to stop, that's the time to stop. We're gonna have a linear do uh, a little first aid, which is her strength recovery, it's a healing, and she's gonna do it on the entire rank, so that's uh, Mag and Gray. It's one of the reasons why I want them to be on the same rank like that. And she will do a healing. 
Now you'll notice down at the bottom, that's her her FP on the bottom. That's her you know MP ability. That's her magic points. And uh, so you'll notice that I just use 15 of it. Let's see if we can get. Uh, well, I don't want to. I don't want to have linear use a skill here. So we'll see what happens. So 13 more uh, TP for us. Great, it's become level three, which is really good. So we're leveling up at a fair rate here. Uh, but let's see if we can get... Uh, is there another combat I can do? Yes. So let's go talk to this roach. Ah, crap. Enemies do give you a very short period of time to jump on them as soon as they see you. And then if they don't, if you don't, they, uh, you know, just grab you. Let's kill the ticks. The ticks usually have fairly low HP. There we go. Okay. Now watch Linear's FP after I do this attack. Sorry, FP goes up by four. After you take an actual attack action, specifically attacks, you do regain uh, FP. So you don't have to worry too much about keeping FP up as long as you're not spending it willy-nilly. As long as you're not just randomly, you know, using FP attacks for no reason, you can fairly, fairly easily keep your FP up. So feel free to have Linear go and heal people. You know, feel free to have things like that go on. But uh, you don't want to waste it. You don't want to be, you know, healing when you don't need to heal. Let's run over here and see what these items are. So we got a push rubber. This uh, is an item that pushes an enemy back. And a doctor potion, I believe, fixes everything. Let's go look. <clears throat> oh, no, Dr. Rosen's Paralysis. Okay. And we have another set of uh, enemies. Looks like we're going to be ending up having uh, more uh, roaches in here. Let's see, who do I need to fight? That guy. So you'll see I'm focusing on getting rid of enemies that stand between me and other allies. Keep in mind the, uh, the roster, the uh, lineup on the right-hand side can change. And you've seen it change several times already in this episode. The, the roster can change order um, as we go. So we got to kind of keep an eye on it to know when things are going to happen. Because it won't always be uh, exactly what it says it is. And uh, the game has a pseudo-hidden statistic called weight that we're going to be keeping an eye on. I think, I think that's the name of the statistic. Uh, it's... Is there something in that corner there? No. Okay. Uh, weight is kind of a... It's a pseudo-statistic. So you have your agility. You have your... Let's get a couple items here. This is the way down, so we don't want to go yet. Did I already give a hunting gun to Gray? Yeah. So that's an extra. Uh, what's this other item? Here, give me. Moving hand... Oh, wow. That's really good. So I'll put that on now. What we just got is for mag ciphering gear equip moving hand parts first of all having this oh, no, 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 no you go away having this immediately increases mags attack by 10 that's really really good these are random drops the other thing is ciphering drops are kind of rare and so it's good whenever you get them just randomly uh, but you also, the earlier you get them, the more you get, the more variety you have, because you upgrade Cyframe parts individually. So, for example, when I unlock moves for Mag, uh, I can unlock a move on any given Cyframe part, and if I remove that Cyframe part and re-equip it later on, I will still have access to that Cyframe part. So, it's, um, that was interesting. Okay, we have the initiative. Fantastic. So, we might be able to, uh see a little bit more of the initiative gameplay here. Let's go ahead and have Linear do another first aid on uh, the front line here. Okay, so Linear will once again do band-aids on everybody. Mag's at full health, but uh, Gray needs a little bit of help. I love that each of these guys has just really interesting names. Okay, everybody's dead. I forget what that... I forget what the 10 is that pops up. I think the number that you see when you kill an enemy is how much experience that you get from killing that enemy. And then the number... I think that's what that is. We got Ice Ball, which is a uh, usable item in combat. We have another teleporter to leave here if we wanted to use that. We don't. And we're going to continue moving. So notice how it no longer shows me the contents of that room now that I have left that room. You don't get to keep that. kind of sucks, actually. Uh... But yeah, you don't get to keep that. You don't get to. You don't mark down where items or traps are in the ruins. 
they just kind of vanish. But there are items that will help with that. But that's floor three done. So you'll notice that we're moving pretty fast. Uh, the floors get bigger and more complicated the further we go. Got two enemies right off the bat. Let's go ahead and jump on these ticks over here. You'll always notice me. I'm going to try whatever I can to get the initiative because it's always good. You always want the initiative. And Gray is a bit of a powerhouse right now. Those ticks on the back line could be a bit of an issue just because they are backline ticks. Nope. Keep in mind, they don't have much, uh, they don't have really, have really good defense at all. So that's helping. You notice, they never had a chance to move at all. They never had a chance to go in the slightest. We were continuously just pounding them in the face, and that's exactly what you want to see here. Okay. What about over here? What do we got over here? More ticks. Can I get behind them? Nope. The, uh, there is a slight arc in the back that you get to play with. Let's go ahead and see if I can kill the back line guy with Mag, as he has really good strength right now. We'll kill the front guy, in uh, front line guy with Gray. Gray is just taking a beating. Ooh, and sleep-inducing bite. Gray has fallen into a sleep. Do we have the anti-sleep status recovery? Yes, we do. Wake up touch. That's another thing Linear gets to do. She is General White Mage. So, uh, she has a number of status, uh, status moves, and uh, one of them is Wake Up Touch. I think I chose... I can't remember if this is the exact dungeon I should have gone to, but I think I chose rather well. Linear kind of has the, the anti-sleep, which is something that the blind Bruins like to do, and uh, Mag has lightning hand parts. They're not going to come into play much, because I don't tend to use those parts very often. But, um... Uh, lightning hand parts are really good against the Water Temple. Which is basically what this is. This is the Water Temple. Oh, that's a trap. Okay, so you got to see a trap just there. So you'll notice that near in the bottom there. Uh, everybody in the, uh... That was the fire trap. Everybody in the party just took damage. That trap can be triggered multiple times. Which sucks. That was bad. Thank you, Mag. This guy is probably not gonna die in one shot. Yes, it did! Yay! We are getting a lot of luck here. Got multiple damage up items in uh, very rapid, uh, very rapid succession. Now, what I could always do, I could always let Linear heal the party right now. Got two enemies. Oh, there's treasure chest. Okay, that's gonna give me jet boots. So uh, I think Mag can equip those. Yes, he can. Oh, that's really good. Defense only goes up by a little bit, but evasion goes up and agility goes up. So he's going to be faster, and he's going to be a little bit more agile and a little bit more defensive. Which is uh, all I can ask for in a set of boots. That's awesome. We're getting some really good drops. I will say that uh, in this game, there are not a... We're going to kill the roach. There are not a tremendous lot of equipments in the game. Uh, the game isn't built like that. It's not built to have a tremendous amount of equipment. You notice that Linear is not taking too much damage, even though she, uh, uh, because she's backline, even though she does not uh, have an amazing uh, set of defenses. The problem here is that, in addition to, you know, in addition to that, uh, she doesn't have a lot of health either, so she is taking a fair amount of health damage. Gray should be able to kill this guy. Oh, no, it's Mag again. Okay. <laughs> You know, so that's Mag's agility acting up right there. He got to take another turn immediately because he's faster than all of his, uh, all the enemies. Nail in we have picked up. Wonderful. That's good. I'm happy. We'll move on. Okay, let's see if we can get away from this thing. We have a momentary set of invincibility as soon as we finalize any combat. So we don't have to worry too much about combat. Okay, I think... And have Linear do another heal. Yeah, we don't have to worry too much. As soon as we exit a combat, we do get a momentary set of invincibility. Uh, so that allows us to move around a little bit after combat, so we can't get chained, like, we can't get chained by enemies. That being said, you still want to jump on another enemy as soon as possible, or get out of the way as soon as possible, as soon as you finish a combat, because you don't want to risk having the enemies continue to jump on you. It can happen, and uh, it can very quickly lead to uh, the end of your game. Especially if you move away too slowly, because you saw how fast that roach was able to move. It has it has a dash power in the overworld. So, uh, you know, it would be able to jump all over me, and uh, I do have those characters behind me, so it's not just Mag I have to worry about. It's not just my leader. 
Uh, I also have to worry about if Gray gets jumped on, because if he gets jumped on, that's also us, uh, or the enemy getting initiative on us. So, could be terrible. We don't want it to be. More initiative. So let's show you something. So, you'll notice that down here, I have, I, I can match the skill. I have 347 TP. So I can master the skill in combat as well as outside of combat. And this has a very peculiar effect. I'm not sure if this was intentional by the developers. But the first time you use a skill in battle, if you master the skill in battle, it doesn't work out, it doesn't work if you do it outside of battle. If you are to if you master the skill in battle, the first time you use it, you do not have to pay for it. What I mean, you still have to pay in the TP. Uh, special item ruin search. Fantastic. I love that skill. I love that item. Uh, you don't have to pay for it, so you can use, let's say, a big healing spell. Let's say you're late game, you're on the third ruin, you have the super duper revive spell off of Linear that revives a guy with full health. Uh, and you're in a really bad boss battle, you're getting your, you're getting wrecked, it's not a good day for you. Oh, hello. That surprised me. It's not a good day for you. Uh... If you have the SP and are you're able to unlock that skill with Linear, uh, you're going to be able to use it and not have to lose the FP. The game does not even require that you have the FP to use the skill to begin with. That's pretty good. Mag's jet boots are just allowing him to jump in front of everybody. Electric ball, we have picked up. Wonderful. A little bit of a... Uh, so what do we get? Gas tank. Okay, that's an appraisal item. And mini black hole ball, which is another uh, move the enemy around the field weapon item thing. Yep. It's good stuff. Let's go right over here. Anything else I need over here? Not sure. So you can see that little dangling bit off this room that we started in. That means that there's a, uh, you know, there's a hallway there. So the question is, where does it lead? It might not lead anywhere. This might be just an, a long hallway that loops back on itself and never has an open room. Uh, it happens. But generally, we want to explore. Another Doctor Potion. Another Paralysis Potion. New enemy type. We haven't seen these guys before. Not that it would matter. I'd still be... So wouldn't bother... Uh, wouldn't worry about them anyways. These are Hydras. Let's go ahead and, uh, you kill that. <laughs> I'm hoping Mag gets to go again. Nope. Mag's gonna be behind the enemies. Which sucks, so we're gonna get attacked by Hydra. She's fine. We take negligible amounts of damage, then we just move on. That's cool. That damn. Linear, can you, like, freaking hit things? Now, notice that Linear did get back as, uh, FP, even though she didn't actually, in, like, connect with that attack. She, uh, she still got the FP. So, definitely want her attacking. Let's get that FP back without having to use any items, anything like that. Awesome. And now this guy has come on, Linear. Come on. Come on, come on. Hit, 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 hit. Be good. Okay. We have defeated the enemy. 40 more uh, TP for us. And level 5 we are. It's good stuff. We are advancing quickly. It's going to slow down later on, like you would expect for most RPGs. Like, we're not going to continue being the most amazing thing. Uh, we're not going to continue leveling up at this rate forever. But, uh,. We'll be able to level up for a while. And we do want to make sure to engage just about everything. Slows the game down a little bit, especially when we get to the uh, bigger floors. Like, this was a fairly big floor, don't get me wrong. I mean, if you look at this floor, you can say, wow, that is that floor is kind of big. It's not the biggest. They get bigger. So they end up taking a while later on in the line. Uh, so we got to kind of, you know... But we do want to engage as much as we can, because we want to make sure we keep our uh, health up. But the good news is, engagements don't usually take very long. These are not long fights. You know, they take maybe 30 seconds. Now, notice we're on basic floor 5, and the environment has changed. Uh, the environment does change to show you kind of progress throughout the various uh, ruins. Sometimes you'll get environment changes multiple times in a ruin. Sometimes it'll only happen one time. It actually depends on how late into the game you are. Because ruins get progressively bigger the later in the game you go. They, we get some really cool ruin types that are on. I really like this one because, you know, we started out in these kind of brick and stone walls that have been, you know, carved to look certain ways, things like that. 
But uh, at this point, now we're in these kind of very cool, this glass and steel hallways, among other things. You know, the same style, of course. So we can see right there, that's my way down. So because we're in this particular style of uh, dungeon, we can kind of see our way down. So I know where it is. Not that it matters. Oh, I hate that. I hate this. I hate this one. I hate this one. Confusion gas makes it so you run around in whatever direction. It randomly changes your input. So it doesn't matter. You can't. It's not like up becomes down, left becomes right. It's not like that. It's it. I'm I'm holding straight up here. There we go. I'm holding straight up on the uh, control pad. Whoa! There are a lot of enemies in this room. This is the uh, monster farm, monster zoo type room. Who do I have to kill? That one. Damn! Well, this could suck. We're gonna take a lot of damage this turn. Just kill that, please. Please kill it. Good. But this is basically a monster zoo room. We have a lot of enemies in here. Damn! That got poisoned. Only applies, or it only matters on his turn. So, uh, if he doesn't do anything, he doesn't, uh... He doesn't, the poison doesn't take effect. It's a particularly nasty poison, too. So you gotta keep that in mind. You'll notice that below his, uh, below his portrait on the lower right-hand side, you can see that he has a green gem. That's the, uh, Hydra's guarding. Okay, I can look at that. He has that green gem, which shows that he's poisoned. Uh, there are, I think, four different types of satisfaction in the game. No, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Uh, and now Max asleep. Now he's got two. You're not tied to one status effect in the game. You can get multiple status effects, and it really sucks when you do. So you'll notice that Mag has two. That was a, that was a crit hit on uh, Gray's part, I think. Yay, Mag is level six. So if you'll... If you'll notice here... No, it changed. Huh. When you first enter a monster zoo... Yeah, it changed. Uh, the music actually changes to be this very kind of ominous music to let you know, oh hey, bad stuff just happened. You're in trouble. Now luckily, uh, all of Mag's stats effects have gone away, but he still is a little bit damaged. Not too much, actually. He's, uh, he's doing well. Oh, Linear got a crit hit. I believe that's what those sparks mean, is that crit oh, you got a critical. You're doing pretty good for criticals lately. I'm happy. Another 13 FP for us. Gray has become level 6. Great! Haha, <laughs> I made a pun. Okay, let's find out what's in this treasure chest right here. Hopefully it'll be something really good. Saucer parts. Uh, that's actually an item for, uh, chain. It's not for us. I'm never gonna use chain. Well, I mean, I will eventually use chain. But, um, I don't really have any, any interest in using chain. But, uh, man, the luck we are getting when it comes to getting some rare items. I love uh, I love Gray's dodge animation. When when he misses, he just steps aside and is like, "Nope, thou shalt not touch. Can't touch this." Just yeah. Gray is totally badass butler. He really is. Always dressed so nicely. He has his tails on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how are we doing? Got it. Whoa, let's get away from that. Okay, that guy was about to attack us. Oop. Ah. Didn't get it. There's this fine line between waiting and and trying to get the uh, drop on an enemy, and uh, just going in attacking to make sure he doesn't jump on you. I forget what this skill does. Ah, crap. Okay, that's fine. So linear just got blocked. So why did he jump forward? Uh, Linear just got blocked, so what that means is that she's not allowed to use any special skills until the blocking goes away. Problem is, she's the, uh... Yes, his spear is also a blowpipe. And now Linear is poisoned. This is... not really good. It's fine, though. We're not gonna die in this turn- er, in this, uh, in this combat. It's not gonna happen. How are you not dead? You already blocked her! Don't suspicious dance her again! There's no point! What are you doing? He double blocked her, apparently. I don't get it, but sure. Kill the Hydra. Okay, uh, that one. Let's kill that one. 
Your shields can't help you now. Notice that the guy on the left now is jumping very slowly. That's a good indic- that's the indication that he's getting ready to die. That he's- that he's- I think it's like he's less than 10% health. So we definitely want to always, you know, look for that. There are some good visual cues. We might need to see about healing ourselves. Or at least linear. Mag has become level 7. Good stuff. Still not using any of my skills, though, because I want to kind of save the FP for, you know, when I really need it. Lots more enemies. Look at this. Look at all these enemies. I don't know which one of these I actually engaged just now. Uh, that guy. Good. Dead man. Kill that one. So they did, uh... Don't do that! Don't stop status affecting me. <laughs> Here comes another knockover. God, Mag is taking a beating. Not as bad as Linear's been taking. She's at last, less than half health. I'm not concerned, but... Kill that guy. Thank you. And you kill that guy. Wonderful. Another critical. Damn, Gray. You've been getting criticals all over the place. Okay, who do I need to deal with next? Need to get out of here, need to get out of here. Need to get out of here. Okay. Let's go Benny Hilling for a little while. Let's get behind this guy. Too many enemies. How was that? I got a drop on him. I was totally behind him. Totally. But this is going to do really... How did he not die? This is going to do really good for making sure that we're ahead of the curve when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to experience. This is a really good monster farm to find. Unfortunately, unlike other games, like a name, like Dungeons of Dreadmore, uh, monster farms do not inherently come with a reward other than the fact that you've got a crap ton of experience. Stop. Okay. We need to heal Linear. That needs to happen at some point. Shoot that guy. Good. Kill that guy. Wonderful. Linear. Um... I'm gonna heal her outside of combat. There's no point doing it right now. But she can heal Mag. Well, I need healed. And we'll get we'll do some uh, we'll do some healing in just a second. Make sure that nobody dies on my watch. Go away, Big Ben. Wonderful. I'm still glad the game does not have like obnoxious rat 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 you know clacks on whenever people are uh, low on health. No, Linear did get a little bit of health back. That also happens at the end of combat. Let's see, let's, oh, okay, let's use, uh, store 100 HP to linear. Not really a lot, honestly, but let's do it again. Green numbers indicate that that, uh, health, mana, someone like that is full. This could be bad. Okay, they did not get the drop on us, that could have been really bad. Okay, uh, let's kill that guy. Wonderful. And Gray can get that one. Awesome. I love so many things about this game. Like, not only it being so good for back when it originally came out. I mean, these were kind of top-of-the-line graphics back then, actually. Depending on what game genre you're looking at, of course. I mean, Sonic Adventure actually kind of did really well back then, too. And I've heard good things about Shenmue. But, um, these were kind of top-of-the-line graphics and really good gameplay for back then. And I'll be honest, still pretty good gameplay for here. You know, notice these combats last all of, what, three minutes on the very long ones? I mean, they're not very long. Don't you dare poison someone. Don't do it. You dick. You jerk. Okay, well, we'll have to take him out. That's gonna have to happen. Here, just go away. Bags and poisoned. I think it's the Hydra up next, but I want to take this guy out because I do not want to have to deal with his n Ugh! Don't want to deal with his nonsense. Go away. Fall over. I love how, like, enemies just vanish when they die. It happens in so many games. They don't, like, fall over. Their corpses don't litter the battlefield, even though you've killed hundreds of them. They just, they just kind of fall over, and that's it. That's all that happens. They just, they just vanish without a trace. One last one, and the monster farm will be complete. That was really dangerous, what I just did. 
Because the problem is, if I had run out of my invincibility before I had passed up the enemy, uh, I probably would have... They probably would have jumped me. And that would have been really bad. Okay, can you kill this guy? Please hit him. Please. Thank you. Linear's accuracy is very hit or miss. Haha, <laughs> it's a joke. Stab. Or smack. God, it was a knockback smack. Doesn't really matter. I mean, this guy's gonna go down this turn. And he's gone. Gray's accuracy, on the other hand, is really, really good. Then again, he is using a rifle with a scope on it, so you kind of hope he's good. But, uh, yeah. Okay. How are we doing? Good. We have completed the monster farm. Monster suit. Ouch, and we got zapped for it. Freaking traps, man, I tell you. On certain, uh, in certain dungeons, they're more visible than others. Should be taking a left turn up here pretty soon. Really? This is a... Wow, this is a long floor. What do we find here? Free item? Okay. Nail in. Got some heals going on. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. So what the alarm does that we just jumped on, which I may jump on again on accident if the uh, confusion does it for me, what the alarm does is if there's enemies in the area, they will immediately come running for you. Which, uh, can be scary. Depending on how badly uh, hurt you are and uh, where you are on the floor and things like that. Um, let's keep on going to the left here. Is there another, another, uh, nope, there's not another, another room. Okay. We can go north. Actually, we're gonna, well, let's get to the end of this floor, because the end of the floor can't be that far away. Okay, so there's nothing extra there. It's really hard sometimes to tell how big the floors are, especially as you get deeper and deeper into the dungeons. Further you go, bigger the floors can get, so sometimes you can get these really huge floors, and there's no knowing how far in you are. This should be the end. That's a teleporter out. And this is the end right here. Okay, ladies and gents, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Evolution, the world of Sacred Device. See you later.